What is allotropes of carbon? What is allotrophy? Allotrophy or allotrophism is when a chemical element can exist in two or more different forms in the same physical state or phase. These different forms are called allotrophs. Therefore, an allotroph is a different structure in which an element appears. This happens when the atoms of the element are bonded together in a different way. Allotrophs of carbon. The property of an element to exist in two or more physical forms having more or less similar chemical properties but different physical properties is called allotrophy. The different forms of the element are called allotrophs. Allotrophs form due to the difference in the arrangement of atoms in the molecules. Allotrophs of carbon types. The allotrophs of carbon are classified into two types. They are amorphous forms, crystalline forms. Different amorphous allotrophs of carbon are coal, coke, wood charcoal, animal charcoal, lamp black, gas carbon, petroleum coke, sugar charcoal. Crystalline forms Carbon atoms can arrange themselves into different hybridized chemical bonds. Therefore, they exhibit different physical and chemical structures such as diamond and graphite. Carbon and solid phase can exist in three crystalline allotrophic forms, diamond, graphite and Buckminster fullerene. Diamond. In diamond, each carbon atom undergoes in its excited state sp3 hybridization, hence each carbon atom has a tetrahedral environment. The three-dimensional structure of diamond is as shown. As CC bonds are very strong, any attempt to distort the diamond structure requires large amount of energy. Hence, diamond is one of the hardest materials known. Graphite Graphite forms a two-dimensional layer structure with CC bonds within the layers. There are relatively weak interaction between the layers. This is consistent with each carbon atom in sp2 hybridization. Graphite uses London dispersion forces between the layers which are separated by a distance of 3.35 A or weakened by the presence of water molecules so that is easy to cleave graphite. For this reason, graphite is used as lubricant and as a lead in pencils. Buckminster fullerene C60. Buckminster fullerenes are molecules of varying sizes that are composed entirely of carbon. The arrangement of these molecules lead to the form of a hollow sphere, ellipsoid or tube depending upon their orientations. Fullerenes are formed when vaporized carbon condenses in an atmosphere of an inert gas. Buckminster fullerene 60C Bucky Balls Spherical fullerenes are also called Bucky Balls. Buckminster fullerene C60 contains nearly spherical 60C molecules with the shape of a soccer ball. Uses Fullerene 60C molecule contains 12 pentagonal and 20 hexagonal phases on its soccer ball shape and each carbon atom has sp2 hybridized orbitals. Nanotubes. Nanotubes consist of hexagonal arrays of covalently bonded carbon atoms, similar to the sheets in graphite. Unlike the flat graphite sheets, in nanotubes the sheets are rolled into cylinders. Due to this reason, they are called nanotubes. Nanotubes like graphite are electrical conductors and can be used as molecular wires. In integrated circuits, nanotubes are used instead of copper to connect the components together. Scientists inserted biomoleculars into nanotube to inject them into a single cell. Can you memorize what is allotropes of carbon?
What is allotrophy? Allotrophy or allotrophism is when a chemical element can exist in two or more different forms in the same physical state or phase. These different forms are called allotrophs. For inspiration, nothing will work unless you do. Maya Angelou